one. That's five miles. Very, very high open to certainty. But even inland a little bit, the possibility of seeing some of those 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. We are preparing. It's like 3 o'clock. We got the green machine right here. We're just going to plug it out. The skies. Look at that. We then cleaned up a big majority of the house. Very, very disappointed in the guy or whoever's the one that controls the weather. For a few days straight, we were waiting on this tropical storm, Elsa. And, you know, today, this morning, which is Thursday, was about the only rain action we really got. No damage, no nothing, no flooding. I mean, look at this. You know, I'm, I mean, the, the landscape speaks for itself. Look at this real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the neighbors. They actually got somewhat ready for it, but I mean, I give them props. They done boarded up and jetted on us, but I mean, at least they took precautions. We uh, cleaned up the area. That is dangerous though. Um, a lot of this stuff was not here. I put it in the back porch. You see the back porch has everything. We cleared out all the, the working materials we use. Everything cleared out just in case nothing be flying around. But look at the neighbors. Looks like some um, end of days type of stuff. You know, we were waiting on the storm. We bought a few supplies. Um, and here we are, still getting it, making videos for you guys to enjoy. I mean, that's just a quick little update um, for you guys on what Tropical Storm Elsa, you know, was about. Since we are closer to the Gulf of Mexico on that coastline, um, the path of it was coming up towards us um, but it just wasn't strong enough it didn't build up enough enough um, force to be something that we can call dangerous but man we we've never left any hurricanes or none of that stuff you know here we are you know truck's still good just some water all over it we probably got to wash her up dunk days coming up stay tuned for that I've been trying to build my fiberglass console, but man, it rains every single day. Like right now, it's a little bit sunny out, but give it a look, dark cloud. Look over there, dark cloud. Look over there. Right, right now, it's probably what, like nine o'clock in the morning, but give it like an hour, so it's gonna be pouring cats and dogs, and it'll be sunny out, and and then the rain will come, and like the ground looks like this all day, puddly, and I don't like working in that type of stuff. I can't work in my garage, but. That was when I was like 15 years old and I'm not doing that no more making so much a mess. So follow me on Instagram. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. This is the place to be at with all the car audio questions that we got. All cars, racing, everything. Today's Thursday. Hopefully it doesn't rain, which it probably will. We could try to go get some uh, footage for you guys of racing. Um, they got Saturday Night Heat um, with Cletus McFarland at Brainton Motorsports this Saturday, I hope. If it doesn't rain, we'll be out there getting some footage for you guys. But back to the topic of the hour. You know, life goes on. Videos must be made. And today we are going to be reviewing this TS amp. You know, I've been trying to uh, try new amps on my truck. The newer style stuff. You know, my Kicker 2500 blew up. I'm going to try to see if I can get another one. But for the meanwhile, we're going to keep testing these amps out. And see which one works at least somewhat up to it. So... We have this, uh, it's upside down because of the way the connections are. Um, the powers and the speaker inputs are on this side and um, the RCAs are on this side. So um, we went ahead and tried this amp out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys some stuff about it. It's a TS uh, Power uh, 5000 Class D amp. It has all your regular, you know, gain, phase shifts, subsonic boost low pass um, and then it has your uh, let's see four gauge um, 12 volt ground and remote wire it has like 530 amp fuses which I thought it was gonna be badass you know what I'm saying because I forgot what's the rule of thumb for every fuse or whatever and then the speaker inputs um, you know, I had the Kicker 2500.1 in here. That that Kicker app, man, it puts in work. So we went ahead and, and tried to put an amp just so we can be jamming for 4th of July. We put this um, 5000D in it that my friend let me borrow just to test out. Um, 
right off the bat you know it didn't have aux gauge inputs so i had to cut down some of the wires so the wires will fit um i thought it was a two ohm stable amp which is only four ohm mono which is not good in the the real car audio world um, for an entry level amp it is good but for what we're trying to do and please the crowds um, it's we still need something more with a little bit of bang um, the amp is upside down right now just because of the way how I have my wires ran which it shouldn't affect the amp at all and hit its performance great great amp overall but it just doesn't have the extra you know push that we are looking for um, for our base to please you know the crowds that we go attend or that we go um, you know at and, and try to show out for you know um, so we are gonna go ahead and continue the journey and try to you know get the kicker amp fixed um, test out other amps I am gonna try to buy uh, what's that the, the tarp amps or whatever the brand is called um, the smarty 3000k or 3k whatever it's called um, my friend uses a lot of those amps he says they're pretty badass if it doesn't do the trick I'm gonna go ahead and um, buy two you know they are fairly small so I could probably fit two across the back but I'm gonna buy the one and see what it does and if it doesn't you know tickle me I'm just gonna go ahead and, and buy the two and with that it should somewhat you know be um, up the level of that kicker 2500.1 um, the kicker 2500.1 was a fairly big amp you know it did take up you know most of the space back here um, which I didn't mind because I mean that amp was putting in work, you know what I'm saying I, I, I can never say nothing bad about those kicker amps um, I tried to reach out to kicker and ask them what was the newer amp um, that they have that's that's base wise badass But you know, they say they're, they're gonna drop a new one here soon And hopefully when that one drops we can go ahead and replace that and get that amp and and be booming the way How we should be but hopefully those those tarp amps do a little something like I said I don't mind buying two of them just so you know, we have that extra um, you know that we need that extra, you know base if we do buy two amps, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, buy two more batteries just so I know that we have that extra voltage. I'm um, probably going to go ahead and change out my alternator. I do have, um, it's not the stock alternator. It's a little bit better than that one. But, you know, um, a true um, car audio, um, I'll get like a Stinger or something um, alternator. Probably a green one to match the hood to uh, keep the juice pumping and all that um follow me on instagram i do post all out on there um don't forget to subscribe if you have it you know this is a car audio channel which a car channel um dunk channel racing channel all kinds of stuff and like i said i post my normal day life stuff on here now i was hoping to go ahead and have this amp jamming so we could have been you know riding up and down and get you a nice vlog for the fourth of july i did take some fourth of july um videos but man you know, we were having fun with the family, fireworks all over the place. And, you know, I just put the camera down and just enjoyed myself. Which I need to, you know, whenever um, we do have a family event or something, um, I do need to record a little bit more. So you guys can see a glimpse of, you know, ordinary life and all that stuff. You know, uh, switch things up a bit. Um, dunk day is next week. And, you know, we'll have tons of footage for that. We are going to try to get the, the, the amps before then. Um, I was trying to build a console before that, but man, this rain just sucks. I'm about tired of it. You know, I can't work comfortably in the rain. Um, we do have to paint, lay fiberglass, and with it, you know, raining. Um, it's not cool weather, but, you know, the atmosphere doesn't allow the stuff to dry. And I don't want to sit there with a heat gun and make everything dry. And, um, man, it's just a pain in the ass, so I'm not even going to go through it. So... If we show up to dunk day without um, the, the front part of the console, it's okay. But, man, we'll have that beat in there. Um, so stay tuned for those videos. Um, subscribe. You know, any questions, um, any suggestion on amps. Like I said, I tried, I tried this TS amp. It was good. Very good entry-level amp. But it just wasn't what we need to please the crowds. And um, give people that wow factor when they sit inside here or um, listen to the truck. So um, we're gonna, our journey continues. Um, so that concludes our video for today. Thanks for watching Don't forget to subscribe um, More videos are coming. Um, like I said, this is a car audio content. I will be dropping later on today. Maybe um, a uh, How to design a ported box for entry level um, We did drop the how to build a bandpass video the other day, which was pretty cool um, the Entry level bandpass designing so we will start a entry level ported box design 
with a secret formula that I, I have in my head <clears throat> that I use that I know that's badass. Um, so stay tuned, subscribe, you know, more stuff will come. Thanks, y'all.